In this video, we're going to talk about the debt to equity ratio, which is a measure of a firm's leverage. Now, the debt to equity ratio is actually a pretty simple uh, ratio to calculate. We're going to have in the numerator, we're going to have total debt. And then in the denominator, we're going to have total equity. It's just that simple. Now, you say, okay, well, where do you get uh, debt? Where do you get equity? Well, these numbers are just going to come uh, from the balance sheet. These are going to be balance sheet figures, and that's actually a, a criticism of the debt to equity ratio uh, is that when we look at the equity that, that we're using, we're not using uh, market value. It's not the market value of equity. Uh, we're actually looking at the, the book value of equity. And so uh, when, when you take like a finance course or something and you start computing like like whack and you start talking about, well, how do we compute leverage? What do we talk? Well, you, you're not going to be using something like the debt to equity ratio, uh, even though it's a common and popular ratio. You might be using something where you're going to be actually looking at, at the market value of equity. Uh, so, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to talk about the, the basic plain vanilla debt to equity ratio in this video, and we just get these numbers from the balance sheet. So, if we think about, well, okay, let's look at an example and, and how we'd compare two firms that, that had uh, two different debt to equity ratios. Uh, let's take a look at, at, we'll say, ABC Utility Company, and then a company called The Flower Store. And we'll just put some numbers out here and go ahead and, and compute the debt to equity ratio for each firm and see how we can interpret it. So let's say that the total debt for the utility company is $22,000. And then let's say that the equity uh, for that utility company is $5,000. Now it's really simple to, to compute our debt to equity ratio because remember we just say, okay, well we just take debt and we divide it by equity. So I'll just put a dividing sign there, and then what does that give us? Well, we have 22,000 divided by 5,000, uh, and that's going to yield a debt to equity ratio of 4.4. Now, let's take a look at the flower store and see what their debt to equity ratio is. Uh, so let's say they have debt of $24,000, and then they have uh, book equity, their total book equity is 16,000. Now, again, uh, to compute their debt to equity ratio, we just take the total debt and we divide it by the total equity. So I'll just put a little division sign there. We have 24,000 uh, divided by 16,000 and that's going to give us 1.5. So how do we interpret this? Well, we can say that this utility company, uh, just based on this measure of leverage, taking a look at this, this debt to equity ratio, we can say that uh, the utility company is more leveraged than the flower store.